Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and behind me is the all new 2021 Surveyor Legend 240 BHLE. First thing we want to jump into of course on this particular trailer is the overall length and weight. So when you start looking from pin to bumper on here, you're looking at 25 feet and 11 inches to be exact. And of course the dry weight of this trailer is roughly around that 5400 pounds dry. So this is perfect if you have that real large SUV or a half ton truck. Some of the things that we also really like to talk about on a surveyor here is, of course, the construction and how they're built. This trailer is a complete aluminum framed um, block foam insulated trailer. So, of course, that keeps you a lot lighter and the structure is going to be sounder than ever. Um, as we look at the front here, I want to talk a couple of features too while we're on the outside. So, looking at the front, you have this massive pass through storage compartment. And again, you can see just above that all that really nice aluminum framing. There's some little touches that uh, Surveyor does that are pretty cool. For an example, you may have seen that light turn on and off. There's a motion sensor light in here for you. And they even give you this little tool here to go into your power drill, which helps you actually raise and lower the jacks on your trailer. So again, those little touches make a big difference in your trailer. While we're looking at this storage too, one of the things I like to talk about are these awesome slam latch uh, baggage doors. These are a full metal slam latch here and it's a deadbolt lock in there. So it's gonna be the same key that you use to open your main storage door, not that small little key that every trailer owner in the world has. Um, just above that, you're also gonna have a nice little magnet to hold your doors open. So again, you're not breaking those plastic little clips off in the winter or of course, just over the years of use. Now, while we're looking at the front here, um, one of the a couple of things I wanna talk about, of course, you have a power tongue jack with a uh, light switch on here. So if you're hooking up at the nighttime, you can always see what you're doing. Plus it's easier just to get it up and down. Um, right behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks. And of course enough space for a dual battery setup if you chose to do so, if you choose to do so. Um, now there is another little feature here, which is really nice. You may see that little red box there. That's actually a battery disconnect switch that they put on here for you. And the nice convenient thing with that is, is you don't have to necessarily take your batteries off your trailer when you're done using it. You can simply swip, uh, switch it to the off position and it keeps that power drain from draining your batteries on you. Just above that, you have a nice frameless windshield here. This is really cool. It cleans the look up of the trailer, but it's also an automotive glass too. So if you have a rock that somehow gets up that high and hits it, it's always repairable on your trailer. Now, as we work our way around here, you have that really nice checker plating on the front. You'll have your six gallon quick recovery hot water tank and of course your other entry door. One of the things that we have to talk about too with a surveyor is again going into detail in that construction. Right here you actually have a full bonded sidewall in the, in the actual slide out itself and around the backside too. So this trailer is completely bonded all the way around. It's a very, very nice solid build to it. Now follow me around this way. We'll talk about some other uh, really cool features on the exterior before we jump inside. Um, just beside me here, you're gonna have all your hookups for cable and satellite, which is really neat. Um, you're gonna have your water connection here and a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with what a black tank flush does, you can simply hook a garden hose directly up to this uh, little inlet here and it rinses out the entire sewer system of your trailer so that you're getting a really nice clean and you're not necessarily seeing that buildup on the anodes or you're not getting that breath of fresh air when you go and flush that toilet. You have a detachable power cord here. And then of course, now that we're at the back of the trailer, you'll see Surveyor right from the factory here has introduced a flip down travel rack. This is awesome because it gives you that extra storage space again for generators, firewood, um, coolers, you name it, bikes even if you want. And I believe this one would probably carry up to about 150 pounds with the spare tire still on. Just above that, you're pre-wired for a backup camera and we carry those at Rangeland too so you can equip yourself with one. And then of course a ladder to get up onto your fully walkable roof. Now there is some really cool things about this roof too. If you do jump up on top of there, you will notice this trailer comes with a solar panel for you so you're already rigged up with something like that that you don't have to purchase now. As we work our way around the uh, back to the front side of the trailer, you'll notice as, as you're looking far away, it's got a massive awning on this trailer and that's a full power awning. So you simply push a button, it's gonna stretch it out for you and you got that beautiful white LED light strip that runs across it. Just below that, you have your outside speakers here. And of course those are backlit too to give you that more modern look to your trailer. This is probably one of the biggest features though on this trailer is the beautiful outside kitchen. So what you're gonna have here, of course, outside fridge, and then right beside that, you have the really nice suburban cast iron cooktop. And then you have a little pullout just beside it here. And there's actually a sink basin that sits down in here. We just didn't have it set up today. And right behind that, you'll have a water fill connection there for it too. So it's great. You get all three atmospheres um, or all three points of an outside kitchen right here for you. Um, 
As we work our way through, you'll notice all the windows on the exterior um, are tinted, so it keeps it a lot more private on the inside of your trailer, but it also helps keep that heat out. And now that we're at the door, first things you're gonna see too is with this door, it's a friction hinge. So this carries up to a 25 kilometer an hour wind. So you're not gonna be worried about your door flapping around in the wind or anything like that. And it keeps you from breaking the plastic clips off the back. Plus, just underneath this door, you have the really nice Moride entry steps. These are so simple to use, you can simply pick them right up and they go right inside the trailer and clip in place. And the reason why they do this is because it saves you from having those pull-out steps here get rusted out full of gravel and very hard to use. And then of course, when you're ready to set these up, you release the pin, you pull them out. They have adjustable legs on either side here by just pushing these buttons in here. So if you're on that uneven ground, you can always get that nice stable entry. Now before we go inside the trailer, there's one key component that we have to talk about with construction for this surveyor, and that's the Asdell wallboard construction. This is great because this trailer is a two inch wall, and then just in front of that insulation, they use Asdell, which is a composite wallboard. It's a lot better than the old Luon wood board that they used to use because this is a lot lighter now. It actually adds insulation value too. It's moisture wicking, so it helps keep that water out, plus it's environmentally friendly. So let's head inside now and check about some of the really cool features here. So first thing you're gonna notice coming inside here, a lot of space. There's a very cool feature right at the front of the trailer and that's called your Murphy bed system. So with a Murphy bed, this is really the only way that you can get a the big dinette, a couch and a walk around bed in a trailer that's only 25 feet long. I'll show you how it works now. It's very simple, you just lift up on the couch here and like you can see there's actually some drawers underneath here too so you have a lot of additional storage underneath here and it's full ball bearing extension drawer glides also. <clears throat> Once we get this flat, it's a simple pin that releases the, uh, the mattress here. This will fold down into place and voila, you have yourself a bed. It's a very comfortable bed too. Like you can see, it's walk around. You'll even have some storage space on either side with some cup holders. And they have a little hole there where you can actually run some power up into, uh, plug your phones in and that kind of stuff too. Just on the sides of the bed, once we put this up again, see how easy that was? So simple. We can simply put this up and boom, you back to a couch. But like I was mentioning on the sides of the bed here, you're each gonna have two plugins and you'll also have two USB chargers too because nowadays everyone's got a cell phone or a tablet so you've got to have a way to charge that stuff. Down beside it you got some extra drawers here too and I can't stress enough to the, uh, the quality construction on these little materials right. Ball bearing extension drawer glides, solid wood on the inside and solid uh, wood on the outside too which is really really nice. Um, in beside it here you're also going to have wardrobes on either side which are plenty deep enough so you can hang some jackets and coats and things like that. Um, while we're in the main area here, I do want to show you just up on the wall here, you'll have your Furion, uh, your Furion stereo system. And this is of course Bluetooth capable, it's AM, FM. Um, you can even hook a uh, HDMI cable in there for you too. So if you wanted to put a Blu-ray player, or an Xbox or something like that, you name it, you can set it up ready to go. And just above that, you'll have your solar controller for you here too. Let's start working our way through the rest of the trailer. So looking at the slide out. First thing I like to point out, I'm about six feet tall. If I stand in here, my head is nowhere near the ceiling of that slide. There is a ton of space in here. And with that, you get lots of big windows. And of course, talking about the windows too, in all the surveyors, you have these really nice pleated shades that come down. So you're not looking at those cheaper tin blinds um, that you may see in other models. With this dinette, you can also break it down into a very big bed. And then on either side, you have some cabinets for some extra storage to reach down underneath here. <clears throat> now, jumping across to the kitchen here, I love what they've done with it. You have an actual uh, seamless press countertop here. So this is way better than that uh, T-mold material you might see that starts to peel over the years of use. And then they actually recess the sink into the countertop here and they have a nice tub stainless sink in here. And it's, you know, it's a lot better sometimes than having a split because if you do have that big uh, pot or pan that you're trying to do your dishes with, um, you have that space to fit it in here. Of course, high rise stainless faucet and right beside that, you're gonna have this beautiful graystone grill. So you have the nice blue lighting here to really clean the look up. It's got a glass front to it. And then just above that, you also have a three burner cooktop with a cast iron grill top on there too. So it looks really nice. Plus you got the, uh, the uh, tempered glass cover to give you maximized amount of space in your kitchen here. Now, right behind me, you notice this fridge. 
This is a very, very large fridge. This is actually an eight cubic foot gas and electric fridge that they put in here for you. So much larger than the standard six that you see in most trailers. And of course a nice large uh, freezer above that too. To finish off the kitchen here, you'll have a, a range hood, which is super nice if you're cooking in here to get all that smell out, and then a microwave up above that. Now, as we work our way from the kitchen into the back of the trailer, you'll have these beautiful double over double bunks. These are massive bunk beds. They're also teddy bear mattresses too, so they're super soft for the kids, very comfortable, very warm. They each have their own light in their bunks too. And again, you're gonna have USB chargers in both the bunks. So again, if the kids have phones or tablets and things like that, you know, there's a way for them to charge their, uh, their little items. Now, just across from the bunks here, You'll also have this amazing storage space for more than likely you could use this space as a pantry. And one of the things I like to note here while we have this cabinet door open is you'll see some hidden hinge construction when it comes to their cabinet doors. This is really nice, cleans the look up the trailer, gives it a much more residential finish. <clears throat> and last but not least with this guy, you'll have a beautiful bathroom. I'll let you jump inside there and have a look around. First thing you notice is that is a porcelain toilet in here too, so it's gonna be much easier to keep clean and it's gonna last the full life of the trailer. Big stand-up shower there, so you got a nice plastic surround, so it gives you that, uh, that plenty of space that you need, plus it's keeping the water from actually damaging the walls. And then the shower curtain is great too. You actually have a full pull across shower curtain, so it's actually a solid curtain too, so it keeps the water in. And then of course, your sink basin here and if your medicine cabinet. One of the little touches that I love that they just did with this medicine cabinet is they actually gave you a little toothbrush holder. I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but those little details in a trailer make a world of difference and it just hides away once you're done with it. Um, now, one of the big features too that you'll see in this bathroom is they have your monitoring panel here, but right beside it, you have three switches for your fresh gray and black tank. And this is actually a tank heater system. So what Surveyor has done for you at the factory is they've enclosed this underbelly and they've added 12 volt heat pads to all the tanks. Super nice feature. If you're the type of camper that likes to go out into the early spring or late fall and enjoy your trailer for as long as possible in that short camping season we have. That pretty much wraps up this Surveyor here today guys if you have any questions make sure you reach out to us at the dealership give us a call or you can even contact me i'm tyler and my email is tyler at rangelandrv.com make sure you call us about our rv show pricing on right now thanks again for watching and happy camping